What's up everyone, this is Jordan from my Gets well. and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Tesla Vision update that I just received for my Tesla Model Y 2023. So I have not tried it, let's just go and check it out. And as you can see on my screen, there's a message that the park assist is available. So let's see how this is going to be. It says that Tesla Vision Park Assist provide visual and audio alerts of surrounding objects. So there are a couple of objects. There's a car there and uh, I'm going to drive out around because there are a car there too. And also I'm going to be bringing it back to the, you know, closer to my garage. So let's see how this goes. It gives the warning here though, the Tesla Vision Park Assist is for guidance purposes only and is not suitable for an aware driver so substitute for an aware driver my apologies so let's see how this thing is so i think this is the only release note that we have for the park assist and this car is not equipped with the ultrasonic sensors so this is the 2023 uh, model y long range and it did not come with any ultrasonic sensors so now let's uh, go and start the drive okay i'm gonna put the seat belt on and put it in the drive mode okay park assist is loading so probably this what happens uh when it is you know working for the first time and what that marshmallow looking thing is well it's my first time trying it so um i do not know how this is gonna work this shows some weird like lines around the car okay but let's just drive there's only one car right there okay 26 inch i don't know what is it so there's a tree right here and this thing says that 27 inch 28 inch okay what is going on here uh, let's get out of here what am i hitting there's nothing here <laughs> literally there is nothing next to the car. It's the tree, which is kind of a little far away. I'm not even closer to it, but let's get out. It says stop, stop, stop. And it says it's on the left side. So let me open the door and show you what's here. Well, this is what happens when Tesla removes the ultrasonic sensors and uh, they tell you that the vision thing is amazing. You saw the beginning of the video when it was showing like, you know, how the uh, these barrier lines are right now. This is going nuts and all over the places. OK, so let's get out. I'm going to drive around a little. Okay, let's see maybe that car right there but it's for park assist so i don't know if it is gonna work okay it is at least making the lines that i'm getting closer so i'm getting closer to the car next to me and it's yellow i'm about to hit that car and it's still not doing anything well, let's just drive around. There's another one. So this is park assist. So I don't know when you're driving, it matters a lot, but I'm passing those cars and uh, it, I was pretty close to the other car that is parked in my neighborhood and it did not warn me or said anything. See, I'm here. Yeah, it's showing these weird lines. Okay, so now I'm going to back up and uh, 
let's see what it's gonna do you see right there there's a car in the back okay so let's see if it gets closer what it's gonna do it says I'm 27 inches away about to hit so this is pretty good uh, when you are backing up um, that was good it's my neighbor's car I don't want him to think like you know why I'm getting closer to you know his car okay let's go up here and see if it's gonna give any warning to the uh, doors right here because I'm pulling up here this driveway for the water thingy okay it actually detects it and says that so this is for the front side a lot of people said that front camera won't be able to see clearly if something is you know right at the bottom so this door is actually in the view in the line of sight so it can be seen and I'm 17 18 inches away from this door so let's see if I go more closer okay now it says a stop because you're gonna hit the door. I'm gonna keep going. So it is beeping. It is saying that you're too close to the door. Okay, so let me get out and see how far I am and how preventive it is. Oh, wow. Um, this is a huge uh, gap here, probably around like four feet and the calculation that it is doing it is actually not correct so you can see the distance right here is actually a lot um if i had the ultrasonic sensors here which i don't have maybe it would have calculated properly but since uh, the car does not have ultrasonic sensors i thought that there was a damage but no that was not the damage but okay so this is what happens when you don't have ultrasonic sensors and you rely on the cameras so i'm pretty like far away from that and it is saying that i'm already hitting that's because camera maybe let's go a little more closer okay now this is saying that i'm already inside that obstacle maybe hit already stop stop um some people do like parallel park so the distance is almost like four to five feet and uh, if you have park assist on literally it's gonna freak out freak you out when you're in the city and trying to do the parallel park um so this was kind of a little like um I don't know you guys tell me how you think it is also right now there's nothing on the left side but i think it is considering that this is the driveway and there is fairway so maybe it is doing that thing okay let me keep going back and see if it's gonna help me with the uh curb here so i'm going going it is detecting that there is something and uh, it is saying stop so it's beeping because i'm about to hit that um the curb in the back so this is pretty good because i think the back camera can see much better because it's in the back and the way the wide angles are but in the front it is using this camera right here so i don't know how clear that is so this is how much i could have done today um I hope like maybe it will be better in the future for these lines at least because they're all over the places the way they are drawn on the screen so maybe in so from front let's see there's a little curb there because sometimes th this camera cannot see below there so let's see I'm gonna turn on the camera so you can see in the front um, no it's only back and sides okay okay so it is actually detecting or calculating that there's a 
curb right in front so this was success I think Tesla the way the Tesla vision is it wants you to be safe then sorry so that's why when I was closer up there by the gate it says that you know stop because you're about to hit the gate uh, which was pretty neat and uh, sometimes you're parking and you don't know if you're hitting the curb or not so I think this thing can help really good here if it is accurate because you don't want to have the curb rash. Um, I hate that when it happens to my Tesla Model Y performance and the wheel gets, uh, you know, damaged and all. But um, I think this thing, if it can get better, it can help. Uh, I wish the car had ultrasonic sensor. I know they say it's not needed. I mean, why not? Every other car that you buy, um, you know, has the ultrasonic sensors. Even the Camry and Hondas have the ultrasonic sensors so that was the video about the update on the tesla vision park assist let me know what you guys think and i'll see you guys in another video until then peace out